Welcome to Ebbsfleet, the UK's first new garden city for 100 years and the first new town for 50 years. It is also the UK's largest development, building 15,000 new homes, creating up to 30,000 new jobs, but above all, creating a place where community, health and well-being are our main focus. The Ebbsfleet area has seen enormous change in the last 12 months. Hundreds of new houses have been completed and the community have welcomed families ready to start their new life in North Kent's Garden City. We moved to Ebbsfleet, Castle Hill, just because all of like, the green spaces, the parks. Having come from Brighton, it's a lot quieter, which is really good actually. There's a close group of people here, which is really good as well. I chose to move around here. One, my daughter was here and my first grandbaby's here. And two, coming to visit her, uh, the area was just so open, fresh, friendly. Families want to feel welcomed into this community and explore new opportunities. Ebbsfleet Development Corporation, known as EDC, have supported and organised events which do just that. And despite the global pandemic postponing some events, others have continued in new ways and infrastructure projects have continued safely. Today is one of our Garden City walks. We're really, really keen to kind of get all the people who are moving here to start meeting each other. And it also gives us an opportunity as officers to kind of get a sense of what kind of activities they like to get involved in. Lots of stuff for the kids to do. There's swimming lessons that they've joined in. There's always people in the park. Even when you go running, people stop you and ask you to join the running club with them. I go to a local coffee morning here on a Friday. I go to quite a few exercise classes here. The Winter Gathering is a celebration of community coming together to have a go at creative activities. The important thing about building new community isn't the buildings, it's the community. And so you have events like this to just bring people together, show them the potential of the place. The people who've lived here for a long time, it's really important that you let them know that this is for them too. What's great about my community? My community is full of hidden gems, tucked away in side streets all over the town. Diversity, people from all different backgrounds. You meet new friends who enjoy doing the same things as you. Everybody helps each other. My community is great because they're there for that support when we need them the most. What's great about my community? Red Row are very much a family house builder. As part of that, we're creating communities as well for those families to live in. We design the layout for the site um, and coordinate external consultants who do the detail of the scheme. So that includes the roads, um, the buildings, public open space. The local communities are getting involved in their local area and starting to shape the planning applications that are coming forward. And so you're seeing communities having a say in the communities that they are moving into. As well as what a community don't want to see in their area, it's vital for planners to know what they do want. Emma Mayer is a design advisor. Her role is to look at landscape architecture and how spaces can best suit a community passionate about fitness, socialising and well-being. I feel very proud and when you see people out and about, like walking along the streets, taking their dog out and enjoying the open space, I just feel so happy and so proud that I've helped kind of develop that and allow and, and provide a place for people to enjoy. Here there will be community facilities, access, to other developments and around to the station. To encourage local communities to integrate with our developments, we, we try and um, continue existing routes, continue footpaths, create new routes. We've been doing some online surveys with local people to kind of galvanise their views. Um, we're about to commission a new online platform which allows people to kind of post their ideas and thoughts about some of the projects we're doing, whether it's the new park or a new community centre and other things. But also it's part of placemaking as well, so it really makes the place not just feel like a housing development but actually a place where people want to live. With so many development sites in Ebbsfleet, it's essential that those areas are linked and the residents have good routes to locations which are important to them. Springhead Bridge has been funded by EDC and links Springhead Park to Ebbsfleet International Station. It actually um, saves on journey time from over 20 minutes to 7 minutes. It's a road connection and also um, improves cycle networks to the station, which is really important to the fundamental ethos of Ebbsfleet, trying to get people walking and cycling rather than using their cars. 
What you see now is a completed structure, but we did actually have to build a lot of the stuff into the watercourse in the river. So we used temporary works and cofferdams there. And also the bridge is obviously across the lake. And we did have a pontoon bridge, which connected the north side to the south side, because the north side was very tight and it helped the team sort of work collaboratively as one. I think the structure and what we've built here it not only gives access to Ebb Street International Station and cycleways and roadways, but it also gives access down to the actual waterfront, which is a huge nature reserve. We've had kingfishers spotted, we've got fish in the lake, and we've had um, chetty warblers and breeding birds there. Great to be part of developing that infrastructure and amenities for the future population that's going to live around here. Springhead Bridge is one of many sites offering work experience placements to young people. Growing up in a rapidly developing city offers unique opportunities to explore career options and learn from people like Paul. Tonight is our Year 11 Parents' Evening, but we've also incorporated with our local community to come in and put on some workshops and raise awareness for our young people of what's out there for them. Our developers and our house builder partners are telling us that they have a lot of needs for construction skills in the future. Yeah. I mean, we've both gone through a training programme. I think you just need to prove that you're hard working. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It would be great to get all the young people involved in the local area and uh, in the build itself. It's a positive thing for us to bring our partners and our businesses here. So if we can raise their aspirations and raise awareness of what we're doing, then maybe some of these young people will be our, our office workers, our construction workers for the future. We're trying to engage with the local people and the students about what's going on in the Ebbs Fleet area. I think that's a key success of the development is to have employment that is here. After completing a work experience placement, local resident Hannah has now secured herself a job with Balfour BT as a quantity surveyor. I did a week on the, um, the Springhead Bridge and I really enjoyed it. I found it so interesting. I'd worked um, different job roles with quantity surveyor, project manager, engineer and it kind of um, made me realise I actually did want to go into construction and do quantity surveying as a career in the future. Our client, Ebbs Street Development Corporation, um, social value and community engagement was very important to them. So over the last two years, we've engaged with over 2,500 students. They've held workshops with our children, perhaps in years five and year six, in terms of the corporation. Um, and we are able to go and visit as well if you we want to, to take children uh, to the sites to, 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 to expand the knowledge of the local area. Our target was to bring in 12 individuals, give them an insight into the industry. But when we had keen individuals like Hannah, who really wanted to gain an insight, we really felt that um, it's individuals like that who deserve the opportunity to come in and see what the world of construction is like. Yeah, when I started first working in civil engineering, I had two summer placements. It gave you that valuable experience and it really gave you a good, strong insight into what you would be doing after you'd qualified. It's really important for the communities around the Garden City to benefit from what's happening here. Uh, and if we can create jobs for the people of Northfleet, Swanscombe, Gravesend, Dartford, that's a great thing to do. This year unfortunately saw the outbreak of COVID-19 and at such a critical time, creative solutions to prevent lockdown isolation were needed more than ever. Sunday Active is a mix of fitness and faith usually hosted at Castle Hill Community Centre. Keen to beat lockdown and keep supporting members of the community, Penny and the team took the whole programme online. We tried to get our heads around what it would look like to um, do the same kind of things and keep the same ethos, but online. Hey, good morning. We're about to start in uh, one minute's time. This is your workout today. I hope if you weren't um, joining in, you're at least enjoying watching. A lot of people have been willing to help out others um, and people that wouldn't necessarily do that before that you wouldn't think you were that close to. have been messaging or joining in with our activities. Inspired by the Edible Ebbs Fleet project featured last year, many residents started growing and inspiring others to grow fruit and vegetables. You can plant some spinach, um, even you can plant a little bit of um, cauliflower, as long as you make space for it all. Local community organisation Blueprint Arts encouraged local families to tell an online story together and create drawings to bring it to life. She lives in a monster town where everybody is a monster. Yeah. Local cultural organisation LV21 reorganised their school project Think Up 
so that children could take part in projects led by local artists from home. 650 packs full of paper, card, pens and pencils were delivered to children keen to stay creative at home. Northfleet Community Group Big Local have also worked tirelessly to support residents in their area. For me, it was more about hands-on stuff that people could do and not online stuff. And I'd put together creative packs for not just for children but for older people as well so that they had something to do. The virus has affected everybody's lives everywhere in all sorts of ways. Yes, there was a lull in the house building, um, but as you can see behind me now, um, the house builders are back on site, construction work is, is, is now um, back in, in happening again. And, and actually people are still moving here as well. A major milestone for 2020 was the completion of Ebbsfleet's 2000th new home. Sylvia, who we first met at the Castle Hill Fate, kindly invited us along for the big moving day. Finally, today is about us moving into our um, first new build. Looking forward to it, it's a, it's a new beginning. When we decided to move from London, it was a family affair. I wanted my children to be on board. I wanted my daughter to be comfortable that I'm going to be living around the corner. And that's going to be a great opportunity for us both. I'm going to get to spend more time with my grandchild and she's going to have her mum to support her. My decision was the right decision right from the get-go. The uh, area, the community, the house, Last December, Ebbsfleet Development Corporation advertised if anybody was interested in becoming part of the board. So we've now got a community board which represents local residents from the area that's going to help us shape the place moving forward. And I thought, if I want to be part of something new and I want to know what's going on and I want to shape the community, why not apply for it? In the future, I definitely see this is my forever home. It's just exceeded my expectations. I just feel freer, I just feel, um, I feel part of something. <laughs> <laughs>